Uh, you remember the cult? Do you remember? Where were you the first time you heard the cult? You remember the, the cult? Anywhere, anywhere. <laughs> Fucking. Remember the cult? Man, I love that band. It's a cool band, man. But we're going to talk about real cults. That's what I really want to talk about. The formation of a cult. Am I exaggerating? Hunty, are you exaggerating? Are you saying everything's a cult? Oh, this cult's online. You saw my interview yesterday with the uh, with uh, Lepo Lepo Larpo Larpo Lepo turns out to be a librarian from the from the Midwest somewhere. Right? Is he a cult member? Is he a cult leader? Is he a cult recruiter? We talked all about that shit yesterday. Right, and uh, we'll painfully go revisit that uh, briefly, but more more fun. We'll talk about um, a uh, drone. A drone finds a man in China, uh, a prisoner who escaped 17 years ago. Found him, and uh, a lot of punching going on. A lot of people punching each other. Vegan activist punches a guy. Uh, gets a vegan activist gets punched inside of a pizzeria. A uh, an elk, elk, a big ass fucking elk attacks. The animals fight back, attacks a guy in a park, and uh, a vegan, a vegan, the friendly vegan punches a, well, attacks a guy in front of McDonald's, man. We'll take a look at that. And then, as I said, we're going to explore just a little bit, just touch on cults and what they are and, and such. So uh, let's start with, let's start with this drone story, right? So here's a guy, drone, drone finds Chinese fugitive in cave after 17 years Wow, that's a hard time right there, right? Or is it? Is it? That's why I'm talking about this story. An escaped prisoner who had been on the run for 17 years has been arrested in China after a drone spotted him living in a secret cave. Wow, a secret cave. <laughs> that sounds, that sounds uh, exciting uh, to me. It sounds exciting to me. It sounds exciting to, to, to get away from the population, right? 17 years in a cave. Song Zhang, Song Zhang, 63, escaped from a prison camp in 2002 after being jailed for trafficking women and children. Ah, so he's a bad hombre. He was a bad, bad, bad player, right? He's trafficking, human trafficking in China. Police spent years searching for the fugitive, but were unable to find him until a drone discovered clues in the mountains behind a hometown, his hometown in the country's Yanyan, Yanyan province. The key giveaway was a blue piece of steel peeking out of a leafy forest. And that's a picture of it. Uh, you know, so a drone flies over and, uh, and spotted all this stuff, right? But it was probably just a crapshoot, right? They were like, well, what the hell's going on over there? You know, and uh, they found out, they figured it out, right? Upon closer inspection, police found the steel was covered, covering a cave surrounded by bits of human garbage. Officers then hiked for more than an hour through the dense vegetation and found Song hiding inside. Song was gray-haired, disheveled, and unable to communicate after years of isolation when officers found him, according to Yang Sang police. His cave was about two square meters wide, with steps out the front and a makeshift bed. Wow. How, what else do you need? You got, your, you got your, your shelter? What about food? Song told police he had survived by collecting water and plastic bottles, okay, from a nearby stream. He then confessed to escaping from prison and was taken back to jail. Damn. Fucking shit. 20, 17 years later and he got busted, man. Shit. He was almost gone, man. So, you know, it's like, hey, man, you know, everybody needs a little time alone sometimes, right? You know, I think about that all the time. I spend a lot of time alone. I walk by myself. I meditate. I, I get in touch with my inner, inner, my inner self, right, my calm, my inner calm, so that when people pass, they say, wow, wow, with all the noise going on, how do you stay so, there's an inner peace in you, people see in me. They say, right, I'm the great spiritual leader, the cult leader. <laughs> the cult of Kati. Uh, so, so that's a that's an interesting story. Just interesting stories today. Hey, man, listen. You know, life doesn't always have to be that fucking serious, right? What do we got to do? Talk about a fixed election for another four months, eight months, a year? God damn it! I'm tired of talking about that stupid election and the fucking stupid players in it. So, a vegan activist gets punched in the face inside of a pizzeria. Wow, this shit is crazy. I saw it. We're going to watch the video. You're going to see a girl, you're going to see a vegan activist get, 
get cold cocked in the face by some big motherfucker, right? A, a feta patron at a, um, a British restaurant, pizza joint, punched a vegan activist in the face after, after animal rights demonstrators stormed into the eatery with the whole debacle getting caught on video. Footage of the Sunday night confrontation at Pizza Express in Brighton uh, shows more than a half a dozen activists marching in single file holding signs and shouting slogans as they block the counter. How dare you? Right? See, I, I'm a vegan, but I'm not, I'm not for this. Right? I'm not for this. Screaming, shouting, calling people murderers. Uh, I'm not for it. But it is, what they're saying is true, but there's a better way to go about it. Inspire people. Right? Let, let people find, see the, the um, let f- people touch their, uh, their own inner empathy for the animals. Right? Watch, the, watch the slaughterhouse videos, that sort of thing. That's a better approach than screaming and then ultimately getting punched in the face. Because then it, it creates the us versus them. It's us versus them. It's not, it's not a good strategy. The unidentified attacker confronts the group, angrily telling them to leave and pointing to the door, according to the video. When you don't comply, when they, when they don't comply, he clocks one woman in the face. Then he glares at the camera as employees attempt to calm him down. And the uh, protesters continue on uninterrupted. So let's watch the uh, let's watch the video. So here it is. They just come into a pizzeria. Was the punch? Let's watch the punch again and watch the rest of it. Watch. I don't know. Is that justified? I mean, the girl got in his face. She didn't hit him, and he's, you know, he's about, I don't know, about a foot taller than her. Anyway, watch the rest of it. So there you go. So this girl gets punched in the face. They got 20, 24,000 24, views on YouTube alone. The New York Post picked it up. Well, I don't know, man. A clock in the face. Did the animals, how, how many animals didn't suffer because of that? You know, it's crazy, man. A trillion animals a year go down for human food. Think about being a vegetarian. Just think about it. Right? And you don't have to go out with a sign punching people in the face, right? So the animals fight back. You want to see a video where the animals fight back? The fucking animals are tired of this shit, man. They're tired of being fucking hamburgers, man. Check this shit out. Motherfucking yeah, elk. <gasps> oh, oh my gosh. Oh, elk is oh my gosh. pissed. Oh, damn, he's poking holes in Somebody the hell. Oh, get out of the way, jerk off. Oh, get out of the way. Come on. That was pretty heavy, man, right? What, fucking getting gouged oh by gosh. an elk. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. Ah. Oh, that's got to hurt. That has got to hurt. 
they, people fuck with animals and eventually they come back. They don't, animal doesn't just come out of the woods for no reason, right? He's pissed off, man. Somebody pissed that motherfucking elk off. Uh, so here's, here's a vegan, right? Now, <laughs> talk about a vegan. You want to talk about the peaceful vegans, right? Now, here's a vegan gets even. Watch this one. This is longer really to digest crazy. meat. That's why, crazy, unfortunately, man. people end up looking like this individual here. Whoa! This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Wait, I'm just eating food. What's going on? No, I'm just saying. I'm not, I'm not being rude. I'm just saying if you had a, a healthier alternative, Maybe you wouldn't look like you do. Not saying that it's your fault. How do I look? I'm saying that it's more McDonald's fault. How's your McDonald's fault? Sorry, you, you can... How is it McDonald's fault? It's not McDonald's fault. It is McDonald's fault. It is. You guys are going through half a million chicken is a year. Watch, it's worth it. It's coming, watch. Bigger. I'm eating my burger, enjoying myself, and you're talking more? I'm saying that unfortunately, due to the diet and the decisions you've made to be a carnivore and eat meat, you've ended up probably with high, high diabetes. You probably struggle to go to sleep at night. I'm just about? being honest, you have trouble on the toilet. Food doesn't go down you properly. You tell me. So what, what should I eat then? Well, there's alternatives. There's tofu, there's corn. Oh, well, 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 not like tofu? There's well, like corn. And, and paper. What? Veganism for life. Exactly. Veganism for life. Veganism for life. No, no, no. Is this what you're and with you, sir, what, what 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 questions do you have? What questions do you have? So you're saying I should what? eat tofu? I'm just saying if you want to take better care. Listen, 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 you, see this, you see this burger here? This burger's tender. Right, calm down, calm down, bro. See, <laughs> nice, isn't it? You love them? Yes. Nice. Don't what you said, don't it's a nice yeah. burger. What? This is lovely. What about the chips? Why don't you just have the chips, maybe? Try something different. Maybe have a salad. Well, How about that? Eating, maybe a chicken. Why don't you have chips? Why don't you have chips? No, why doesn't he have more chips? That's what he should do. That's what he should do. Huh? Huh? No, hold on. He wants to season me. How about I season you? Huh? How, how about I season you? Huh? You like to be. How about that? Do you like getting seasoned? Do you like getting seasoned? Hey, what are you doing? Hey. Lay the motherfucker out. Guy's unconscious on the floor, man. It's just dope. Wait, wait, boss. Wait, wait, wait. What's going on? He's a vegan. He's a vegan. He's a vegan. Wait, hold on, boss. Boss, what's going on? What's going on? Wait, wait, leave him. Leave him. Leave him. He's a prank. He's a prank. Boss, it's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. Hey, Dave, get up. Get up. Get up. He's all right. He's all right. He's all right. He's a vegan. He's a vegan. He's a vegan. He's a vegan. Let me try it. Try it. Let me try it. Try it. Let me try it. Is it yummy? Is it nice? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, right, get shit, a Big Mac meal. Get a Big Mac meal, fam. Goodbye. That was awesome, man. Right? That was, shit was crazy, right? A vegan man attacks meat eater in public. Shit. Oh, it's Troll Station. The Troll Station. They got us, man. Fucking these guys got us. God damn. That was good, man. That was good shit. So, unfortunately, you're going to play this idiot, right? Fucking this moron, right? So yesterday, thank you for, uh, this, is, this is the top story. This is the story I wanted to talk about. And not, no, I'm not going to talk about it much. But yesterday I had this uh, guy, uh, Mr. Lepo. His name is Dan, Dan Cromer from New Mexico. He's a, he's, you know, watch the video and you'll find out who he is. And uh, I think it's just important to, to uh, when people are harboring, you know, bad, bad act, actors online. I mean, they're harboring bad actors. You got to expose them, right? So you put them out there. And uh, you put out his information, right? Because, listen, if something goes wrong and we need to find Mr. Cromer, right? If he's going to harbor bad actors and those bad actors are going to start attacking people, stalking people, you know, perjuring themselves in courts to, uh, to uh, harass people, right? And with those fake lawsuits, right? If that's who you're going to harbor, then we've got to expose you. So here's a cartoon character that uh, I interviewed yesterday. Small group, but it's maybe 20 or 30 radicalized, cultized kind of characters that uh, stream around online and have attacked this reporter in, in various forms, not, not so much physically attacked, but definitely uh, with sock accounts and email attacks. And I've been, I've been documenting it uh, pretty well. So, so if you want to watch, I mean, here's a guy who st he stays in his character and all that, but there's a lot of them out there. So what I wanted to talk about more is how do you start a cult? Right? How do you start? We heard the ban the cult, but how do you actually start a cult? Is this particular uh, guy, right? This Lepo guy, is he is he a cult leader? Is he a 
puppeteer, a puppet master, as they say, in the LARP, the live action role play? Or is he just a low level recruiter who was threatened, right, to, you know, bullied, bullied, do what we tell you and everything will be good? Man, is he one of those guys? I don't know. It doesn't really matter. But then nonetheless, we'll find out, we'll find out as we go along. And I think a lot of the people that are watching this know a lot more about this uh, group as we expose it. But uh, do you remember the cult near San Diego that committed mass suicide? They were convinced that there was a spaceship hidden behind a comet that was then flying past Earth and that the spaceship was there to pick up true believers and ferry them off to a better place. So one night they all took sleeping pills packed their heads in plastic bags, and drifted off to sleep. They never woke up. Ah, cult, right? Interestingly enough, such weird groups are surprisingly common. And this article is, I guess, from 2000, uh, 2009. And they're even more uh, common now that we have this online phenomenon. Uh, that's just going on, right? So, and it's harvesting, what I wanted to say, it's harvesting anger. Right? You could find a... You could find something to focus anger on, like me, for example, right? Some, some, some YouTube personality, right? Find him, de demean him, tell, tell everybody he's got a fake hair and fake teeth and fake, fake eyeballs and fake glasses. He's a fake. He's fake. He's got a, a hair wig, <laughs> a hat wig. Uh, you harvest, what you do is you cultivate anger. And then one day, as it, as the, as it, it doesn't really matter. Right? Because if you keep telling people uh, you pick something to hate, like a, uh, a person or a place, right? then you, one day you can harvest that anger and point it at, say, I don't know, uh, uh, an election, for example, Hillary Clinton or Bernie Sanders or Donald Trump. So the cultivation of anger uh, is uh, ultimately the, the uh, payoff. Right? And will people pay to have you know, uh, 15 people or 20 radicalized people with 50, you know, 50 fake YouTube accounts each attacking, attacking, attacking. Yeah, it, there is value. There is value in that sort of thing. So that's why you have to diffuse it and take a look at it, right? So interestingly enough, such weird groups are surprisingly common. It's just that this particular group carried their collective fantasy to an extreme. Right, with the Q phenomena, right, where it's the extreme, and we've seen many... Examples of, uh, well, at least the, the QAnon killer, Anthony Camillo, who shot the Gambino crime boss here in, uh, across the river in Staten Island and, um, you know, took him the cult, the cult, uh, he probably a low level, you know, just a believer, um, resulted in, uh, you know, in a, in a murder. Right? So, but the rules for organize, organizing such bodies of believers uh, are well known and can be reduced to seven simple steps. Wow, seven steps to building a cult. So, um, so let's look at this. To create your very own cult, one, begin by creating your own reality. Ah, your own, own reality, like your own little, your own little chat room where only positive, only positive uh, viewers uh, commenting are allowed to comment. Only comments that satisfy the cult's objective of, I don't know, in, in the case of the Lepo guy is humiliate somebody, right? Humiliation. And, and against your better judgment, you look and say, well, this isn't funny. This isn't really interesting. It's kind of, it's not even demeaning to the person they're doing it to. It's demeaning in the sense that you have 25 apparently grown adults believing that in some way their, their view is truer than the 99, 95% of the world around them. Right? It's a false reality. It's an inverted reality is really what it is. So, so you, um, again, you, you begin by creating your own reality. You do this by keeping your members away from outsiders. Ah, an isolated farm in the middle of Idaho, Idaho, Idaho <laughs> is good. But if such a retreat isn't uh, available, impose a form of self-censorship. If it's not of the cult, it's of the devil. Ah, see? You vilify, you're either with us or you're, you're, not, you're against us. You're not even, you can't be neutral. You're either with us or you're against us. Right? See, that's the, that's the tell of a cult. Right? This is different. Like, 
There's a difference like in, in mass media or what I'm doing. I, I work on attraction, not promotion. You can stay or leave and I don't ask you for, I mean, if you want to contribute and, you know, and help the, help the thing go continue, that's one thing, but you don't have to. Right? But um, there's a difference where, where I'm not vilifying everybody who doesn't believe in me. I'm saying to each his own, if you don't believe, if you can't see a truth that I'm professing, then the door is wide open for you to leave, right? That sort of thing. So, um, so the next one, number two, the next step, the leader and his inner circle uh, up as the, uh, hold them up as the only link to paradise. Only they hold the, king, the keys to the kingdom. Mm. That's like a guru. It's like a, uh, a, uh, a silent, could be a silent master. It could be, you know, or in like, make what you will of it. There could be multiple leaders. There could be, um, there could be a, a ring leader that leads you to the leader, right? The recruiters, right? that sort of thing. Remember to make increasing demands. Start small, but keep it going, and eventually you'll have your followers standing in line to turn over their worldly possessions. Ah, so then it becomes extortion, right? So you think you're getting involved in a, in a, in an organization or a group? Oh, look, they love me. They, 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 um, they say how wonderful I am. Oh, look, I'm part of a group. Oh, he's a good. This one's good, and that one's good. And you see that other one over there? He's the fucking devil. Get him, motherfucker. Fuck him, motherfucker. Right? And that's the the tactic, the the bully. Oh, I don't want, oh, I'm so afraid. Don't, don't yell at me. I want to be on the side of the good. I want to be on the side of the leader. Ah, that's how it works. Okay. And I'm willing to support you. Uh, you better give me your shit, motherfucker. Give me your motherfucking shit or I'll kill. Oh, you're going to be on the other side of the cult, motherfucker. We're going to get you. Ah, extortion, right? I'd rather be, uh, I'd rather be inside... I'd rather be inside attacking others than, than be attacked. Ah, I see how that can fold. Number four. Number four. Keep, keep turning out stories about the greatness of the leader. Ah, oh, keep saying his name over and over again. Who do we know that does it? The more unbelievable, the more they will believe. <laughs> the more unbelievable, the more they will be believed. Wow. Your members, they, I mean, this is, this is politics 101. Right? This is Hillary Clinton. Your members have already been conditioned from the time they were children to accept things like coming back from the dead and walking on water. Ooh, walking on water. Remember to use your, con your converts to bring in still more converts. Aha. So the convert becomes the recruiter, knowingly or unknowingly, wittingly or unwittingly. That's, that's the way it works. This has the double advantage of picking up new disciples. The mere act of prof, pro, proselytizing will further cement the commitment of those already in the fold. Ah, it's like a, a Ponzi scheme or a pyramid scheme where I sell to you and I get a piece of everything you sell. And then you go out and I encourage you to sell. And then I profit from the sales that you make. And anybody that you bring under you, I profit from all of those sales. Right? That's, how, that's kind of how, how, what, the assessment of that. Number six, keep everybody busy. Keep everybody busy. This doesn't allow time for potential critical thinking. Right? Let the minds of the masses wander. And who knows? They might put up two or three together. They might put two and two together. For that reason, long sermons. Ah, long sermons. Long videos, hours of hours of, of video. Watch me. Watch the kook. Watch the kook tell his lies. <laughs> keep your flock. Keep your flock fixated on the carrot. Uh, uh, that's number seven. Excuse me. Number seven. Finally, keep your flock fixated on the carrot. Yeah, the payoff. All, right? all in the all in the cult think they're they're working towards a a higher good. Maybe promised money, but most of the time it's just promised a better life. QAnon, you're part of the exposure of the deep state. Uh, or you're going to get paid. We're going to pay you when the money flows in. We're going to give you some money. 
The payoff is just around the corner, and only they will be the ones who got paid. The clouds will part, and they will be raptured up. And then, and then oh boy, won't all those believers be sorry. Won't all those believers be sorry. How many times have you heard the QAnon people say it? Oh, when it happens, oh, you're going to beg forgiveness. You're going to come crawling to me and say, see, I was right and you were wrong. So, Marcus Conte reporting. So, some interesting stories, right? Are you in a cult? Are we, are we members of a cult? Are, we, uh, are you fixated on a cult? Do you have one foot in a cult? Think before you enter. Think. Or just listen, or just listen to the cult. Spark and enjoy